it's a Sunday and I was worried that maybe it wouldn't be the most fun night. But now I think to myself, no, people, people do not care if it's a Sunday. This is like... We're all probably going to go to a strip club now and then to a rave and then to another after party and then, then to another concert and then to school or whatever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> one of my earliest memories. I'll tell you, can I tell you one, one thing, one story? Can I tell you one? Um, I've been to this club before, so I know that sometimes when you're all the way at the back of the bar, the people at the front start talking and you're just like, blah, blah, blah. So please feel free to keep talking at the back. But up here, you just, you must be quiet. Because some of you have to give me the impression that you're listening to tell the story. But my, one of the first times that me and Tegan were in, uh, well, the first, one of the first times that we were in Montreal, we came here just to visit friends, and I went to an after-hours club with people in the back. where I was going to any sort of after hours or raves. Like for me, the after hours is the bathroom in the middle of the night where I have to pee. But so, it's like the oldest person joke ever. So, uh, I was with these friends and they were, they, were, um, they, were, they were so excited about this after hours club and they took us to it and uh, you had to wait outside and there was sort of a, a, a rope, you know, where you had to wait for the bouncers to pick you. It was a goddamn nightmare. It was, it's like, I don't even understand what they were looking for. It was minus 20, we were in parkas. I just kept thinking like, do we have to take our jackets off? Like, is it, is it about how expensive the parka is? I couldn't tell what was getting people in quicker. But anyways, then I went to the club and it was, I mean, things happened there that I just have never forgotten. And, um, and then, um, it was just, it was, it was the last time I went to an after hours club as a patron. I've now since been to them as an entertainer and it's less traumatizing. But um, it's weird because when I think of Montreal, I very rarely think of that, if that situation that happened. But for some reason, <laughs> all I can think about is the after hours I went to in Laval. And, uh, that's it. That's the story. But this one, this next song, there's a, there's a tie-in. Just kidding, there's not. This has nothing to do with what we're about to do. Here we go. <laughs>